Hello, welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 5, page 94. Thank you for joining in today. Kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and math problem. All right, so we have this problem before us and we're going to uh, solve 1, 4, 2, 6, 6, 1, 9. Here 1, 1, 4, 5, 1, 4, 1. All right, so we're actually going to be grouping this number. Uh, the one at the top for the effects number, we have 1, 4. So we're going to take it together as 14. Right, so the middle numbers we have 266, we're going to take as 266, and 19, we're going to take it as 19. Right, so when you multiply 14 by 19, that's 19, you have what uh, you have your 266. Right, so let's work on that to find 266. Irrespective of the number you're looking for there, okay? If you're looking for only one six, you do the same thing and simply replace the number. So we have 14 times 19 and we have uh, 266, six, okay? So if you're looking for six, you simply replace. If you're looking for two, you simply replace the number. So to find 14, we have, we have 266 six divided by 19, and we have 14. So irrespective of the number you're looking for, whether 4, you simply replace, okay? So to find 19, you have 266 divided by 14, and we have uh, 19. So if you're looking for one, you simply divide and replace the number. All right, so let's work on this example. To find 451, we have 11 times 41, and we have 451. To find 11, we have 451 divided by 41, and you have your 11. Remember to replace a number you are searching for, right? So to find 41, you simply have 451 divided by 11, and you have 41. So if you're looking for 4, simply replace the number. Right, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. Bye.